So it happened. I knew it was gonna happen. I had a feeling it was coming at TwitchCon, but uh, have you guys seen Twitch's new streaming together announcement? So long story short, we're now allowed to multi-stream on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, wherever your little heart desires. Uh, but there's a few rules, a few guidelines rather, that you just need to follow, but they're not that bad. So. Let's check out the announcement and then dive into how we're going to be able to follow these rules because I think this is a massive step in the right direction for Twitch and for anyone aspiring to be a streamer, anyone who's upcoming, even small, medium, large streamers. This is huge. It's going to benefit everybody. So let's watch the announcement together and then break down the rules. Headphones are on. We're going to head on over to Twitter. All right, we're over here on Twitter. And here is the announcement. It was made on October 20th. Let's watch it real quick. Volume up and play. About regarding simulcasting. So last year we updated our simulcasting policy to allow simulcasting on mobile services such as TikTok and Instagram. Right, right. On my recent trip, a number of streamers talked about how they are leveraging these services to grow their Twitch community. So today we're taking this a step further and announcing that we are allowing simulcasting on any live streaming service. Bravo. Bravo, Twitch. This is what we needed. This is what the streaming community has needed for a long time with Twitch. Uh, you should have the freedom to decide which services you want to live stream on. You can learn more about our guidelines for this in a help article that will go live shortly about regarding okay. simulcasting. So that's the small announcement so, right there. So. Let's head back to full screen and let's pull up the guidelines. Okay. So simulcasting guidelines in line with the coming change to our terms of service. We are now allowing you to simulcast on any service. I'm not going to read all of this, but let's jump down to the guidelines. Okay. So there's three right here. You ensure that the quality of Twitch users' experience of your simulcast is, at a minimum, no less than the experience on other platforms or services, including by your engagement with the Twitch community, for example, via chat. So basically what this guideline is saying, uh, this is pretty easy for everyone to follow. It's basically saying, if you're multi-streaming on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube, um, just don't be ignoring your Twitch chat. Uh, they just, they want to make sure that Twitch viewers have a good experience as well. So, so realistically, you as a streamer, you should be putting out um, a pretty equal experience across all platforms anyway. So I feel like most people will not struggle uh, with this first guideline. So let's jump down to the second one. You should not provide links or otherwise direct your community to leave Twitch for your simulcast on other services because we value the community on Twitch and the integral role community engagement plays for all Twitch users. So now this is a little bit vague, but they did clarify if you scroll down here in the FAQs, I'll link these guidelines down in the bottom uh, description of this video. Um, but basically they're saying that like while you're live on, let's say, Twitch, Kick and YouTube, right? They don't want you to say, hey, everyone leave my Twitch stream right now and head on over to Kick. Uh, we have a sub train going. That's what they're trying to avoid. They don't want you to actively tell your viewers to leave your Twitch stream. You're still allowed to direct people from your Twitch page, like your About Me section, um, to your other platforms, but just not directly from your stream. You're not allowed to take people from your Twitch stream and send them to one of your other streams in your multicast. Um, and then number three, we have you do not use third-party services like combine activity from other platforms or services on your Twitch stream during your simulcast, such as merging chat or other features to ensure the Twitch community is included in the entirety of your experience on your live stream. Okay, so this one is basically saying like, if you're uh, simulcasting, right, you're, you're restreaming on all three platforms or even TikTok, so you could add four on there. Um, a lot of people tend to display their chat on stream so that people on kick can see what people on Twitch are saying and vice versa. Um, they do not want this. Uh, they don't want people to see chat from every single platform. You're allowed to use these services personally, like on your monitor, if you want to read all the chats in, in a, you know, combined window. Um, they just don't want it displayed on your stream. Um, and reasons for this, I kind of understand would be uh, let's say on kick, you know, people are saying crazy things in chat. They don't want to be like linked to that. And I get it. Um, so all in all, these guidelines really aren't that bad. And most people will be able to follow these with no issues. 
whatsoever. So uh, I'm pretty excited for this. So I'm going to make a series on the channel for you guys, teaching everyone how to simulcast, how to restream the right way, how to set all that up, how to set up all the widgets. So um, yeah, this is big and uh, I'm, I'm excited. I really am. I want to know how you guys feel about it down in the comments below. So let me know if you think this is a step in the right direction for Twitch and just for streaming in general. So yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this video, this is great news. Um, definitely hit that like button and share it with your friends. This is really big, guys. Um, and subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you want to hang out with me live, I do stream on Twitch, on Kick, and on YouTube. Um, that's twitch.tv slash hammerdance, kick.com slash hammerdance, and you're right here on the Hammerdance YouTube channel. So thank you guys so much. I want you to keep those hammers up, and I'll see you next time.